Hey guys, Princeton here, and it's time for another episode of the Love Doctor. <laughs> yeah, that is what I would say if that were, you know, actually the case. But uh, anyways, for real, I just wanted to shoot this quick little video about uh, the concept of the power of will. It's a simple concept, and here here's an example of it. Results, for example, working out. Every time you work out, you get that much closer to, you know, accomplishing your fitness goals and or getting that much closer or taking that many more steps closer to obtaining your either dream health, body type, uh, body, body build, whatever. And as a reinforcement of that, um, whenever you, you know, have dinner or whenever, whenever you eat, you have a diet and that, re that reinforces your results. So when it comes to willpower, um, it, it's kind of like a building process. So let's just say if you're, or say I'm 300 pounds, okay, I started working out, I started dieting right, and then I started seeing results, you know, um, from my hard work uh, soon after and uh, I just kept going because I saw results that boosted my willpower and it gave me that much more I guess you could say thrust to keep wanting to you know improve my body and see even better results so say for instance okay I'm 300 pounds everybody already knows the bull crap that goes with that uh, so uh, um, I have a purpose. I want to have, you know, better health and whatnot, da, da 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 But in the beginning, I don't really have that much willpower. The more I work out and the more I diet, the more willpower I, I build each and every day. And with the results that I'm getting, it's going to boost my, you know, self-confidence, self-esteem, da 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 And that's just a prime example of, you know, uh, willpower and how even if you don't have it, you can still, you know, there, there's a way you can build it. So, um, another thing is um, not caring uh, what, what people think about you. In the pursuit of your success, no matter what it is, you're going to have haters. You're going to have people that's going to look at you crazy. You're going to have people that's going to treat you like, you, like you're just some, some outcast or some floor mat they can walk all over. But... You gotta, you know, uh, Ray Charles that BS and just, you know, um, just keep moving forward and, um, you know, uh, just just don't care what people think and just do you. You have to, you know, have a, men a mental discipline and uh, if you can see your success, then have a, you know, have tunnel vision for it. So. All other outer disturbances, push it away. Get it out of your face. Don't worry about it. Do you and get yours for, I mean, you ain't, you, you're ain't you not doing what you're doing just because it's just something to do. I mean, you have a purpose, so <laughs> there's that. And then um, the same goes for in business. Like, I mean, if you want to do something different and, you know, unorthodox and or untraditional then compared to you know most uh, other businesses out there and you think your idea is going to pop then stay true to you and do you and um, have full faith in the fact that you know you doing things different is going to you know uh, play and work out in your favor just like how you envision so never you know let go of your vision and hold on to it with your life Never let it go. Let no one hinder that. Let no one, and I mean no man, no mortal, keep you from accomplishing your goals and getting what it is that you want out of life. Life is short. You only have one life. Even cats have one life. That nine lives crap, nah. You have one life. So live it and get everything you possibly can out of each and every day. So that the day you do leave this world, you won't have a regret. And the memories you make along the way, you can take beyond the grave. And finally, take me for example. I'm all kinds of burned out. They're, they're, I mean, they... <laughs>
the Webster's Dictionary or whatever is going to have to make another word for how just exhausted I am through every fiber of my being. I'm, I'm, I'm beyond burned out. But you know what? My willpower and the habits I've created from, you know, being burned out in the past and still moving forward is what keeps me going. So I could be asleep right now and say, for instance, okay, I wake up at 8 o'clock, but I go and train at 3. Uh, uh, say, for instance, like, no, scratch that. Um, no matter how exhausted I am, no matter how tired, no, no matter da 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 the habits I've made from working through being burned out in the past are sort of like, let, let's say, they're, they're regulators. So I made hard work a habit, and even though I'm burned out, every time I go and, you know, beat on my craft, hard work is all I'll put in because that's the type of discipline and habit I've created and or developed um, by working through being burned out and that's what even if I don't feel as though you know I'm giving my giving it my full 110 percent effort I am whether I notice it or not so willpower it's a building process it's it's something you have to be disciplined for and you just have to, you know, uh, just really have to, you know, uh, build and, and grind for by, you know, doing you and continuing, continuing to move forward in life. So that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Uh, thank you guys for, you know, watching my video and everything. Um, and I just hope this, you know, gave you guys that much more enlightenment and uh, helps you out in uh, that many more ways to help you accomplish and get to whatever goals you have set up for for yourself in your lifetime. <laughs>